So let's talk about yogurt for a second. Um, everybody knows that Greek yogurt has a lot of protein, and that's true, but um, watch out because some of them are really, really high in sugar. That's not gonna help you with your goals if you're trying to get in shape. Um, so Chobani is probably the most popular one. We're gonna just scroll down the aisle and, and just pick a couple of Tillamook. Everybody knows Tillamook. Um, yeah, let's just keep going. More Tillamooks. These are regulars. Um, so, Carb Masters is probably the best one that you're gonna find. But let's take a look at Chobani real quick. So, uh, Chobani, yeah, it has 12 grams of protein in one of these cups, but it also has 18 grams of carbs. 16 of the 18 grams is all sugar, and that's pretty much almost a can of Coke. Um, versus the uh, Carb Master, which is um, nine grams of protein, which is almost the same amount, and only has five grams of carbs, uh, and only two of that is sugar, so less than half of that is sugar, whereas almost all of this one is sugar. Um, so you could actually have three of these and still not have as much sugar as you have in the one Shibani. So these are not all the same. So none of them are as good as the Cardinal. The mozzarella, low moisture, string cheese, the bomb. And if you eat it with turkey pepperoni slices, you can have 17 slices of turkey pepperoni and it's only like six grams of protein and like three grams of fat. And if you partner it with this one here, it's the bomb. Pepperoni. Four grams of fat, nine grams of protein for uh, 17 slices. It tastes just like regular pepperoni. So it's all waiting for the desserts. Everybody wants to know about desserts. Halo Top, if you haven't heard of it, check it out. So they have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten different flavors at this Fred Meyer. Uh, probably the most I've seen in one place. But I have vanilla bean and strawberry. And this one's 240 calories for the entire container. Versus like a Ben and Jerry's where you're usually looking at like 1,000 or 1,200. Um, so the whole thing is four servings of 11 grams of carbs. And there's actually three grams of carbs per serving that are fiber. Uh, there's only one and a half grams of fat per serving, and there's six grams of protein, so there's actually high protein for the amount that you're doing with this ice cream. Snacks. Uh, they only sell these at Fred Meyer. Is there a Kroger band? Any, anything you see, like Kroger, they'll have them at um, Fred Meyer or KFC, but these are the bomb. Um, they are all, all pretty much carbs. There's absolutely zero grams of fat, so if you're just looking for a good carby snack, this is good. Um, it's a lot healthier for you because it's rice chips. But we're not actually gonna get these today, but they're like the same as rice cakes. They're just little flavored treats like that. Um, and so there's things like Chex Mix and stuff. We're not gonna do that. Um, beef jerky is really good. If you're looking for a good snack, it's just high protein. It's pretty high in sodium, but it's not that big a deal. Um, so we're gonna do that. I'm not gonna buy those today. And then something that I do kind of a lot of is uh, cocoa roasted almonds. This doesn't add any calories to them to roast them in cocoa, but they taste like total chocolate almonds. So they have the same macronutrients pretty much as a regular almond, and they taste amazing. And then if you want to get into the saltier side, you have Blue Diamond that makes a lot of different kinds of flavors. They have um, uh, it's like salt and vinegar. They have wasabi and soy sauce. They have smoked sauce, they have like a like a honey roasted, but they also have like a habanero barbecue flavor that's awesome. Um, but for me, I'm really, 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 really a cashew guy. So I can just chill on salted cashews. I have a container like this at home, and then I measure them out and take them to work, but this is me right here. Keep going right here, right here. In terms of flavoring your food, you can't see this very well, but um, these popcorn seasonings go on all different kinds of food really, really well. So you have white cheddar, garlic parmesan, like a kernel ranch, or butter, and the butter really tastes like butter. And then like a nacho cheddar. And they, you can put them on all different kinds of food. If you make your own tortilla chips or something like that, you can put them on there. 
and there's nothing in them but sodium. There's no added fat, there's no added carbs, it's just sodium. And then something else we do for snacks at home a lot is the healthy, healthy pop, 100 calorie. These are five grams of carbs. I think there's um, two grams of fat and three grams of protein, but ultimately it's pretty low calorie and you're gonna get away with these a lot. And then yeah, you can hit them with those um, high sodium uh, flavorings, really good. Juice, we're not gonna do any of this. We're not gonna do any of this. Just, no. So if you're having a sweet tooth craving in the middle of the night, um, have some Jello made. Uh, Sugar-free Jello is almost calorie-free. Um, so we have a lot of it at home, but I'm not eating it right now. Um, yeah, all different kinds of flavors. But watch out with the chocolate stuff because they do add more to that. So you can have like sugar-free Jello right there. Um, and I think there's so there's six containers. Uh, or six servings per container, but it makes a huge bowl of like really sweet, delicious pudding. Um, check the are the bomb, and they're sweetened naturally. So you got cascade ice and sparkling ice. It's pretty much the same thing, um, but they are super super good. Um, if you like like fruity pop, like um, orange soda or whatever stuff like that, you'll love these. 